Hi, I'm Ben from Bosch and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Leveling Remote app to uh, remote control our GRL 600 CHV rotary level. So in the app we can use the button Rotary Laser Control in order to enter this view where we uh, can access all of the settings and features of the device. At the top we can see the sleep mode, so you, you can use this to save energy, for example when you're going on a lunch break. If you return again and bring the device out of sleep mode, it will resume operation with exactly the same settings you were using before. Um, the further features that I'm going to talk about in a minute are the slope setting, the ADS setting, the mask mode, the sweep angle uh, and the RPM setting. And then here you can also see that there's a plumb down feature which we can use in vertical applications. All right, now I'm going to show you how to control the slope setting of the tool using the app. So as we saw before in the rotary laser control window, there's one panel here for the slope settings which I'm going to go into now. And then uh, our tool, the GRL 600 CHV has a dual dial in feature. So you can control the slope of each axis independently. And in the app you can either use the, uh, these little arrow buttons to make small adjustments. Uh, here for the x-axis, for example, I'm going to set a slope of 0.05%. Uh, but you can also, as I'm going to do for the y-axis now, uh, use a direct input. So here, for example, I'm going to use a slope of negative 0.04% and confirm this. Uh, and if I click apply now, then the tool is going to level uh, and set this slope, which will take a minute. Okay, uh, the tool has now set the slope. You can also see in the app uh, where the axis are pointed for convenience, uh, as well as on the top of the tool. If you need a uh, slopes greater than 8.5%, you can also use the manual mode. So in this mode you turn the leveling off for either of these axes or both and then uh, set the slope by tilting the tool yourself. In this case I'm going to turn on manual mode for the x-axis now. This means that the y-axis is still leveling uh, but the x-axis will be in manual mode. Confirm this again, takes a second. Now the x-axis is in manual mode. Uh, as I said, I can tilt the tool to set the slope, but if I want to do any fine adjustments, I can also go into this uh, manual mode screen where I've got uh, six different step sizes to do some fine adjustments. So here I can, for example, um, increase the slope on the x-axis a little bit. When I'm done, I can return to this window and if I'm finished and I just want to have the tool entirely level again, uh, I can quickly do this by choosing reset to zero and clicking apply. And then the tool will level again uh, and be at a zero slope on both axes. The GRL 600 CHV has an automatic uh, inbuilt anti-drift system or ADS, which notifies you if the tool has been disturbed during operation. And this prevents you from taking any accidental wrong readings. Um, ADS is active by default, so it starts uh, after the tool is leveled and gives you 30 seconds uh, where this ADS symbol is still flashing on the screen, where you can make final adjustments to the tool before it will start detecting. If you don't need ADS, you can deactivate it either in the app or on the tool itself. So now ADS is active, so we'll try and trigger it by giving it a little disturbance. All right, so you saw that when ADS was triggered, the tool stopped operating to make sure that you don't uh, continue uh, measuring with the wrong reference uh, and gives you a notification in the app where you can say, uh, resume operation. Of course you should make sure then to adjust the tool properly again so that you get a, a proper reference. For increasing the visibility of the laser beam you can also use the sweep mode of the tool and this is accessible through the app in the rotary laser control view by selecting sweep, sweep angle. 
In this view, you'll see in the beginning that sweep mode is deactivated, so the laser beam is covering the whole 360 degree range. But you can reduce this to, for example, having a point uh, by choosing zero degrees, or you can produce uh, longer and longer line segments by having the laser beam oscillate to produce a more visible line. Here, for example, I've selected 10 degrees, but I can also increase this um, or move the dot or the center of this line segment using these arrows at the bottom. Um, in the default setting, the beam or the line segment will be aligned uh, with the positive x-axis. The GRL 600 CHV has a mask mode feature, which can only be activated from the app. Um, so you can see in the rotary laser control screen, there's this mask mode button, uh, and this will show you that there are four quadrants at the top of the uh, laser tool, which you can activate or deactivate individually. So for example, um, this is useful for reducing interference with other laser tools on the site, uh, reducing reflections by avoiding reflective surfaces and also um, increasing security uh, to avoid people with the laser beam. You can rotate this view by 45 degrees in the app. So here I'm going to use this setting and activate only the quadrant at the back. And I click apply and then you can see that only this uh, area at the back is covered by the laser beam. The difference between mask mode and uh, sweep mode is that in mask mode the uh, laser head is still rotating at the same speed, so we can use it with a receiver. Now if you want to save your settings uh, of the tool, for example to resume uh, in the same configuration again uh, the next day on the job site, you can do this by using profiles in the rotary laser control view of the app. So here you can see that we've already got some settings. Uh, the slope settings, uh, mast mode is active, the RPM are set to 600, uh, and there's this little icon at the top, this little diskette icon, icon where I can create a profile out of these settings. So here I'm going to call this profile Ben, for example, press OK, and now I've got a profile with all of these settings to be used uh, whenever I need them again. Um, if I make any changes to the settings now, for example, I can reduce the RPM to 150, then the app will notify you that these changes have been saved automatically to this profile.